trainee astronaut Alyssa Carson, who has her sights set on the stars. She's the youngest person to graduate from the Advanced Possum Space Academy, which means that she's certified to go to space and hopes to be one of the first people to get to Mars. You know, that little red planet that's just 54.6 million kilometres away. She isn't just chasing a dream, she's making it a reality. And we get to talk to her right now. Hello, Alyssa. Hi, Australia. From a very young age, you've been obsessed with space. Why is that? Uh, well, when I was around three years old, I was watching this uh, cartoon on the TV, and uh, the cartoon happened to be these characters going on this imaginary mission to Mars. And so since then, or since really that moment, I just kept asking for pictures, videos, DVDs, kind of anything I could find about space and about Mars. And I just kept talking about it, kept talking about it. And so I've now gone to the point where I've continued uh, working towards kind of my dream of wanting to go to space. You're currently the youngest person ever to graduate from the Advanced Possum Academy. Just checking that possum means something different, right? We won't be seeing any possums in space. Possum is an acronym. So it stands for Polar Suborbital Science in the Upper Mesosphere. Basically what it is is a program where we are uh, doing different trainings and we are trying to study uh, science that's going on at the top layer of Earth's atmosphere. What skills did you learn and what training did you have to graduate? I've done uh, microgravity training, spacesuit training, egress training, which is like escaping from a capsule. Also, I did decompression training and then also learning the different parts of the spacesuit as well. So like knowing how to put it on, how to pressurize it, how to like be in your own atmosphere and things like that. So basically just getting di different certifications that will eventually help me uh, in applying to become an astronaut in the future. What's it like to be in a spacesuit? Oh, you're kind of just all by yourself because once the suit is like closed and pressurized, you're just kind of like living in your own bubble basically. But they're definitely pretty difficult to maneuver in. They're pretty heavy. Um, so not like the easiest thing that like you'd want to wear every day on the streets or anything, but it's cool um, to do the different trains and get used to the environment. Now, what personal things are you bringing from Earth to Mars? Like most of the astronauts, I'm definitely just going to be bringing pictures of family, friends, things like that to keep us reminders. Uh, another idea that I've had is bringing uh, a soccer ball uh, to Mars because I played competitive soccer growing up. And for example, like astronauts uh, went and brought golf balls to the moon, I'd be bringing a soccer ball to Mars and kicking the first soccer kick on Mars. That is such a good idea. World record or universe record, here you come. Now, why do you think it's important for humans to get to Mars? It's just kind of inspiring people uh, to get kind of like an explorer spirit back. And so it's all about just like changing people's mentality about that and showing them that like we can explore, we can go further and Earth isn't necessarily our only option to stay. So your aim is to get to Mars by 2033, which is a huge undertaking. What do you expect life on Mars to be like? It's going to be pretty different in the way that we're living. We have our habitats that we live in. Uh, whenever you want to go outside, you have to go through an airlock, put on a spacesuit um, because you need to have uh, your oxygen to breathe. As far as like food and things, we're going to have to be growing our own food uh, to actually live there. What do you personally hope to find on Mars? A big part of what I would want to research there is uh, looking for any signs of bacterial life that can already be living on Mars. Do you have any advice for wannabe astronauts? Find that interest and then go from there. You know, talk about it, you know, tell your parents, tell your friends. Because once it's out there, uh, you'll actually be pretty surprised at all the people who would be willing to help. Once you get it, never give up on it and never let anyone take that dream away from you. That is great advice, Alyssa. We are so inspired by you and we can't wait to follow your journey all the way to Mars. Thank you so much for chatting with us today. Thank you. Bye.